One of the most interesting guitars that I saw at the NAMM show was a brand new Gibson Hummingbird with a quilted maple back and sides. This is a part of a long-standing legacy. The Hummingbird was first introduced in 1960 and has been used uh, by guitarists throughout the world, much beloved. Uh, I think probably the best-known guitarist who's used it was Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. It's instantly recognizable because of its iconic pit guard. And in the new guitar that Gibson introduced for 2014, they've kept that and they've gone ahead and expanded on some of the traditional elements of the Hummingbird. Previously, the Hummingbirds, or earlier models, had a Sitka spruce top and a mahogany back and sides. So the quilted maple offers a different flavor, different sonic characteristics, and as you can see, um, really amazing look. For this guitar, Gibson actually has gone ahead and used a cherry sunburst finish, which I don't believe they've used on previous flat top guitars. So again, it's another indication that they really wanted to create something special. And that's one of the reasons why this was uh, such a eye grabber at NAMM show. You can tell that it's a singing guitar, and especially with the, uh, the maple back and sides, it has its own sort of sonic footprint that can hear that sustain. I tend to be a bit of a strummer, so when I'm going out and playing a gig where I'm recording, the first thing I do is I judge a guitar by how well it, I can go ahead and play campfire songs, basically. So. I gotta say, it's got a singing quality to it that I really enjoyed, and again, it's not just a great looking guitar, but it also happens to have some electronics that's another way that Gibson has gone ahead and tried to modernize the, uh, or I guess update, the Hummingbird legacy. There's a Beneath the Saddle Bridge uh, LR bags, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it quite, but there's a uh, volume knob right inside the sound hold, sort of unobtrusively placed there so you can control it live during a gig, onboard preamp. So this guitar is meant not just for looking great, but it's also meant for actually a gigging guitarist. Also, when you're working up the neck, for a big solid or a big body guitar like this, dreadnought style guitar, it's nice to see that you can do finger picking and more delicate passages if you're so inclined. 